with a big stretch to, <laughs> to reach the record button. Hey, it's Deb from Bowl Me Over. Thanks for being with me and joining me today. Um, I thought I'd do one of my favorite meals uh, this morning, and it's something I make all the time. It's like near and dear to my heart, and that's bean soup. Um, I have everything here, and it's like, the easiest thing to put together. I'm gonna put it in my crock pot, and let it simmer all day and dinner will be done in a bit. So I'm gonna walk you through the ingredients really quick. Today I'm using black eyed peas, but you could use black beans, brown beans, pinto beans, um, navy beans, any kind of beans, they're dried. Um, I have carrots, I have celery, I have an onion I've already chopped, and a little bit of ham steak. I used part of it last night in our dinner and the rest of it's gonna go in for the soup. I'm cheating a little bit. Chicken stock's gonna give it an extra bit of flavor. You can certainly use just all water, but it's just the best soup ever, and I think you'll really enjoy it. So let me show you how easy this is to make. I should have said is that when you open the beans you want to make sure you pick through them you'll find discolored beans occasionally you'll find rocks or sticks um, and just pick all those out and throw them away and then put them in your colander give it a really good rinse and then they're ready to go um, so the other thing was I didn't have any garlic so this is a good trick so because I didn't have any garlic I cheated and I used some Montreal steak seasoning it's full of garlic. Um, I also put in uh, about a couple teaspoons of Italian seasoning to give a little extra flavor. Um, and I'm just gonna let it cook for eight hours. And tonight, dinner's gonna be done, it's gonna be fabulous. This is a great soup to make. Um, traditionally, it's made on New Year's, which is the black eyed peas um, with greens. So you could always put some spinach or kale in with it. If you're using kale, I would put it in now. If you're using spinach, um, put it in right before serving, give it a good stir, wait three minutes and it'll be done. <laughs> it'll be set and ready. So um, great way to start the week. It freezes great as well. So, you know, any leftovers, if you're not gonna eat them in the next couple of days, um, put them in some Tupperware products and just toss them in the freezer. It'll last at least three months. So wonderful. Happy day, guys. Talk to you soon. <laughs> 